find most companies actually use a, a quote and convert it to an order because they have a more decentralized approach. So we'll walk through that. Um, we'll create a quote first. And um, usually you're going to create it for GL accounts. Um, most people, at least our, our company, our, our customers use semi-ops to purchase items. So they're, they're using, um, they're only purchasing expenses, not operating type activity. Um, so we'll do say one for 1000. And then, um, you can add, attach documents. So let's say you've got an actual quote from a vendor um, or some some rationale behind the purchase. If it's a large purchase, you can uh, attach justification or, or, or a quote, any kind of document that makes sense. You can add notes um, here so that the person who's approving it um, has some detail. We discussed this yesterday. It is in budget. <clears throat> and then you would pick who you want to, who you would want to approve it and submit the, submit it for, uh, submit it for approval. Let's say it's already, um, approved then it'll change the stat. There's three statuses. There's open, which means you're editing it, the quote. Um, not that shouldn't pretty much most people are going to edit it and submit it pretty quick. So you shouldn't have any that are an open status. As soon as you submit it, it's going to say pending um, approval. That means it's out for approval by one or many people. And then once it reaches the person who has the, the enough limit um, to uh, Approve that amount, it will say released. That means it's released, means it's completely approved, ready to convert to an order. So we'll go ahead and um, somebody in finance will go and look for any released quotes and click on. So now all the, qu the quote is associated with. Uh, with this document, um, and there's, uh, um, there's a quote number right there. All the approvals associated with it are tracked and it, it takes along with it, obviously the, uh, the, the document, any documents that are attached or the amounts. And now it's ready to proceed. Uh, you were sent it to the vendor so you can print this, um, send it out to the vendor, uh, sometimes people like to change the status to released uh, once they have sent it to the vendor. Uh, that's more of an internal notification that you have actually provided to the vendor and that um, you want to be careful of making any changes at this point. You've, the vendors accepted the PO, they're doing the work based on that price. So any changes to that order really need to be resubmitted as a, as a uh, it's an updated purchase order. Um, and then, uh, and then now you're waiting for the, the invoice to come in and you process it. Basically, I'm going to show two ways of processing, um, an invoice from a purchase order In this particular invoice, this has already, uh, invoice 25 out of 50. So we'll, uh, say invoice 15 one way and 10 another way. Okay. So once again, I'll, uh, put it, put it an invoice number and now we'll invoice 10. <clears throat> And then we'll do receive and invoice at the same time.
Okay. So now we've got 15 left of the 50 to invoice. And that invoice, ABC, is already in posted purchase invoices. Already posted. We didn't edit anything. It just um, invoiced the uh, the ten at at uh, um, at five thousand, so fifty thousand dollars. Now let's say we wanted to uh, actually edit the invoice or route it for approval. So this time um, we'll create a new one, A B C D E F, and then we'll just go ahead and. Uh, receive the remaining 15. So we'll go posting, post, and this time we'll click receive only. Okay, so now there's nothing left to receive, but 15 left to invoice. Let's note the vendor number here. Uh, vendor is Fabricam. We'll go over to purchase invoices. And create a new invoice for um, Fabricam. Okay. Um, put in the invoice date. This time we're going to pull in. Uh, so now we're on the invoice. So one, we can route it for approval by selecting the, the approver. Um, then we can get the line. So um, we want to get lines from a receipt. So we go over to the line, click on functions, get receipt lines. And generally you only have one open receipt uh, you, because you're going to be creating the invoice pretty much right after you receive it. So you um, click OK and it pulls in that 15. Uh, that's the quantity of 15 here. And then maybe I have to add some, um, some, uh, say freight. Maybe I want to, um, our shipping, do we have an account? Let's look for a good, uh, Let's call it processing fees. And maybe they charge us $100 in processing fees. So we can add that to the invoice. And now we can post this invoice. Oh, you can write it for approval, obviously, if, if you wanted to as well. <clears throat> so now the PO, um, if we go back in the 17, it's fully and fully received and fully invoiced. And so those are the, the two ways to, um, to process an invoice.